welcome to my home office tour. My name is Jessica and I am a photographer and I teach photography online and this is where I work out of. Before we get into the tour, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes from photography to marketing, finance, interior decorating. There's so many courses and workshops taught by industry professionals and it's one of the most affordable online learning communities starting at about $10 a month for access to premium membership. A class I just finished is Style Your Space by Emily Henderson and she walks through design basics so from color theory to how to mix materials, sheen, texture, and finishes. This is such an awesome example of the courses that are within Skillshare taught by these industry professionals. Because Skillshare is sponsoring this video I I actually have for the first 1,000 people who click the link in the description box below a free trial for the premium membership. We're gonna get into the video. This is vlog style. I'll have all of the links for everything that I can from the furniture to decor down below in the description box. And thank you so much for joining me and welcome to my home office. Let's begin the tour with a little 360 of the room. This wall has nothing on it other than a window, which could maybe use some curtains, but I don't really mind it. Okay, and then I go back to the room. This wall has mirror on it. My desk sits here most of the time. Sometimes I bring it up to the window. We have a really crooked gallery wall. And then this side of the room might be my favorite. It's where I have all of my books and my shelves that I love to style. And then this couch that Bumblebee, I guess, thinks tastes really good. Hey, Bumblebee, do you want to say hi? Hey, look at me. Let's begin with this wall. We have the Anthropology Primrose Mirror. I have it all decked out with garlands and these little butterflies that I got from Michael's Craft Store. These gold strings are lights that don't have batteries in them. This heart garland here is so sweet. I got it at Target in the Valentine section at the $1, $1 Valentine section, which is where I get a lot of my cute little things. And then this large star garland is from the Merci Merci brand um, that ABC Carpet and Home carries in the party supply section for kids. This beautiful silk ribbon, and then we have these sweet little butterflies that I got in a pack of six at Michael's, and they're so cool. They have wires on them, so you can pop them in books, which you'll see I do, and really put them all around the room. Then right here we have a painting that I did. It's nothing special, but I really wanted to fill this spot up because I actually film a lot of my YouTube videos from this angle with a 50 mil lens instead of the 24 I'm using. And it's close up and I wanted something here to fill in the space. And below it we have another painting that I did. Again, these aren't anything special. I'm not like the most talented, but it's something really fun for me and I love experimenting around with different texture and color. And I think that it just fills up the spot nicely. Now layered on this mirror, we have a DIY fail, which is this, and then a really pretty little antique mirror. So let's start with a DIY fail mirror. This is from Michaels. I got it on sale for $25 and it used to be a oiled bronze color and I spray painted it gold and I tried to do a DIY antique using citrus strip. The citrus strip is meant to take away the backing that makes the mirror reflective because these really cool effects except for it didn't work for me because I used a metal scraper to remove the backing instead of a plastic one and so I ended up with all of these scratches on the mirror but it's still cute and it still works and it's like a little pop for the YouTube videos. I put these little decals on it in hopes to cover up some of the scratches but I don't think it really works so well and then I taped <laughs> a dry hydrangea to it with some washi tape, which I'm a big fan of washi tape. I think it can look so cute. This is a gorgeous antique mirror and this has that antiqued effect I was trying to achieve with the other one. 
And again, we have a little butterfly hanging out there. So my desk is my childhood desk. It's from Ikea. I've considered spray painting these legs gold, but honestly, I don't really mind. The chair is my mom's chair actually, and it is also from Ikea. This is where I have all of my pens. I think that these little cups are so cute that I'm holding them in. These are handmade from an artist and I bought these in a little store in Ojai, California. Glazed on this part and then the remainder is unglazed and it's just really beautiful. I love microns and I only sign legal documents with either this pen or this pen. We have my Let's See hard drives, which these are my favorite, favorite external drives. I'll have these linked down below, as well as anything else I could link from the room. Check the description box. Otherwise, drop a comment and I could try to get you something specific, but those are the best. This lamp is so cute, isn't it? It's from Home Goods in New York um, from Kate Spade. Behind it, we have some star clips that light up the battery also is dead in these, but they were really cute at one point. I don't know where I got these from, but I know that they were from some kind of party section. And then these curtains are so gorgeous. They're from Ikea, they're the 98 inch, and they do not have them anymore. However, I was able to snag a few more on eBay. And the color that you're gonna look for if you're interested in these is called the light brown dash red. Even though they're definitely a pink, um, they're categorized as light brown dash red. And I think that they're just so beautiful. I love this jewel tone and they actually match my couch almost perfectly. Moving on, we have this very crooked <laughs> gallery wall that I was going to fix <laughs> once I saw how bad it was. And then honestly, I've just moved on and I don't really care. But I wanna make sure that you know I know that it looks horrible. These two in the middle here are from Gallery Lafayette in Paris. It was actually my first trip to Paris and ironically there's no Paris one. It was actually sold out But I love the art deco look of these and the line um, The line work I believe is what it's called art deco is my favorite Style I I just love it and then we mounted them with these big IKEA frames and then just took yellow marigold yellow cardstock then over here, we have all of these frames, by the way, are either Ikea, Home Goods, or the dollar store. So nothing fancy. So over here, we have this really cute little Picasso print. I believe this is just from the Met Museum. Above it, we have this amazing eraser print by, I believe, Lisa Cochran. I'll have her linked down below as well. She's a Portland-based artist. At the bottom, we have this really cute bunny print. Um, that my friend got me for my birthday a few years ago and my mom actually got me a print from the same artist on that same birthday. So I have two, one in yellow and one in pink which are my favorite colors and happen to be my branding colors. This is a little note, <laughs> little card from the Kate Spade St Saturday store back in 2014. One of my best friends in college worked there and she got this for me when they were closing out everything. Below it, we have a Pantone sheet. I don't love this, but I like the color of it. Um, I might reframe it, but I think it still looks fine for now. And then we have these two um, plates that I got at one of my favorite stores in Washington called Curious & Co. It's in Carnation. They actually just expanded the store um, into a much larger space and they just have so many cute things like this. I'll show you more from their store once we get over to my shelves. And then, let's see, we have this amazing vintage sheet music. Um, this is like beautiful art deco style and I got this from a vintage store in Port Townsend that is unfortunately closed now. And then we have this really cute little patch. This is one of my favorite songs. And this is from Fuja in Port Townsend but it's by Lucky Horse Press. This is a beautiful butterfly print from a store in Ojai, the same place that I got those little cups on my desk. And then lastly is this print that my best friend got for me for my birthday. And it's really cute. It's me with all of my pets. We'll talk about the chandelier, I think at the end. Let's move over into our last wall. Okay, so Bumblebee, are you gonna join on the couch? 
I feel like that would be really cute. This bookshelf is from West Elm. It suits small spaces really well. Down here, I have all of my books and then journals, things that don't have cute spines on them. These unicorn bookends I actually got from Fred Meyer during Valentine's Day this past year in 2020, and I spray painted them gold. I love unicorns, they're one of my favorite animals. And dogs are too. Actually, bumblebee is my favorite animal of all. But yes, I love unicorns, I love swans, I love baby deer and bunnies and butterflies too. So then on these two shelves, I have some of my favorite coffee table books. These are things that I just pull inspiration from, whether it's the design on the cover or some pages, but I have collected most of these actually as souvenirs from my travels. So I really like to get the vintage ones. So whether that's at a true vintage bookstore or a vintage section in a bookstore abroad, I just think that they make such awesome, awesome souvenirs and they're just so pretty and I have them organized kind of by color. This is such a special photo to me. This is from October 2018, and this is actually from one of the Sister Sister meetings, which Sister Sister was a free monthly networking group for young women in media. We met in 16 cities across the United States, and it was through Build and Bloom. It was such a special time, and this is from one of the meetings in October that one of the girls, Bethany, Bethany, if you're watching this, hi. I love this so much. Um, she got for me as a parting gift once she was finished with her time in New York City and moved back to Singapore. She gave this little picture to me. So I have it framed here and it's so special. This garland is so cute. It's also by the brand Merci Merci um, in the party section of ABC Carpet. We have again the butterflies and then this little topiary from Home Goods. Very, very cute and it fits the space so nicely. Now this rug I'll talk about right now, this is from Nerezen Rugs and it's actually Calvin Klein. I'll have it linked down below. It's so beautiful and it's huge. I wanted a rug that took up all of the floor space because these carpets have really taken a beating over the years. And this rug is just so perfect because it's neutral but what's really special about it is it actually has little bits of marigold throughout it. It's so cute, it's really soft. And you can see even here on the edge, it's really pretty. So such nice detail, right Bumblebee? Um, and I just think it's so beautiful. So that is the rug, I'll have it linked down below. There's lots of different sizes and I'll have what size I got linked below. I believe I got nine by 10. Back to the final wall. So this couch is from ABC Carpet and Home. It's the Cobble Hill collection. And I, I don't remember the exact color. It has, it's like blossom or something, but I'll have the exact color linked down below. This couch is so beautiful, but it is a little bit delicate with the fabric because it is velvet. It's not a felt or anything, so it's not super durable if you have kids, but it's such a gorgeous color. It's a beautiful jewel tone and it actually shifts between cool tone or warm depending on your space. So it really is versatile for whatever color walls you have. And to me, this is a neutral because of that fact that you can put it with cool tones or warm tones and it will shift. And it's so beautiful. I love the bronze legs. And they have a whole line actually at ABC Carpet of Cobble Hill. So you could get this in a sectional, you could get it in a larger couch. So I have the love seat version. They have ottomans, armchairs. I mean, the whole line is beautiful with lots of gorgeous, unique colors. So that sits here. And this came over from my New York apartment too. And this was actually something that I had worked all summer in 2017 to save up for. It was the piece that I wanted in my New York apartment. I mean, this is like my favorite color and I worked so hard to get this couch and it's my favorite. So above this couch, we have these Ikea bookshelves. And I could definitely um, sharpie in all of the screws so you don't see them so much, but honestly, I don't really mind anymore. We have this swan statue that is so pretty. I spray painted it. It was from a store in Sumner, Washington that is now closed as well, unfortunately, but I spray painted that. Next, we have a book that I bought on my last trip to London, actually October 2019, and I just love this book. I think it's so cute. 
I got this book actually at the Gucci store and they have a bookstore at the back and the prices for books are reasonable. It's not overpriced or anything. And I just fell in love with this book. It's really cute and it's um, 35 mil um, on Rodeo Drive back in the 80s. Below here we have two more antique books. The one on the bottom is actually from my trip to Inverness, Scotland. Um, back in, I believe, 2017, 2016, I was still in college. And then above is an antique Winnie the Pooh book that my friend got for me for my birthday. We have all of these beautiful amber glass bottles that I got in Paul's Bow at a store there. This one is probably my favorite because it's iridescent. You might be able to kind of see when I shift the camera. And I have all of these dyed grass in them. So we have like little bunny tail and I don't know what this is called. It's almost like a pompous that has been dyed. And this was pulled from inspiration at ABC Carpet and Home. Um, they have something similar that I think is just so pretty. So next to that, we have this beautiful, huge wishbone. I love wishbones so much. I wanna get one tattooed on me. I got this for $7 at Anthropology in the sales section. We have this Lauderé um, beautiful pop-up book I got in Paris on my first trip to Paris. And then behind it, we have this Christian Lacroix uh, journal that I got for maybe my 20th birthday in New York City. I have this framed photo of the swans in Hyde Park from my first trip to London. And then behind here, I, I don't even know what this article is, but I've always had it cut out in my bedroom because I love this photo. And so I just have it framed. It's from a magazine. I don't even know what this little coaster is doing here, but it's hanging out. And then below we have our last little row. Um, these are all antique books from a few different travels. So this is from my last trip to London as well. Garden Birds and Book of Lilies. So th this and this I got on my first trip to London um, and came in town and got this in Spain and I got this in Spain as well in uh, Barcelona, Spain. This cute heart uh, iron and mirror is from a store in Ojai, the same store actually and got the jar and the butterfly print from. I love hearts. The 727. And then the amper stand, you might remember from the W hanging up um, on my gallery wall. These are also from Curious & Co. This is a really cute little heart from a store in Bainbridge Island, but I've actually seen these little heart cards um, all over. So I just pop that in this book and then we have more butterflies. And then we have a little antique pastry tray filled with more dried flowers just for fun. So that is the shelf and that is Bumblebee. This, uh, I don't know if you guys will really care, but this fake Sherpa, it's actually like a big circle rug that I have folded in half. It's from the kids section at Target, um, the kids like decor section. And then this is a like neon coral. It's coming up kind of weird on camera, just fluffy blanket. I believe actually this is uh, actually, this is from Home Goods, but I have a similar one that is from the kids' home section at Target as well, which is where you can find really cute things too. And if you just get a bottle of spray paint, so if you don't like the color of something, then you can spray paint it like how I did, for example, with these unicorn bookends. So the last part that I want to share with you is my chandelier. So this is an antique chandelier that I got from the antique store in Carnation, Washington that is across from the Old Curious & Co. I believe I got this for maybe $30, $40. It is dusty right now, sorry. Um, and what really drew me to this one in particular, they had a lot there, was just the fact that this truly looked like an antique. It didn't look like super brassy. Um, I just love the colors. I love the detail. It looks like something from ABC Carpet or Anthropology. And so what I did was I took all of these cute little metal butterflies. These I got at Curious & Co. You buy them individually for like $2 each. I took the Sari ribbon that Curious & Co. also sold. And then these little, um, these little roses are individual as well. And I wrapped them around. I just love 
the idea of decorating vintage chandeliers ever since I saw ABC Carpet um, having a whole chandelier section in their store. This was back when I first went to New York my senior year of high school, so like 2012. Um, and ABC Carpet had a whole section for chandeliers and they had them all decked out in a similar way. And so I just have always wanted to do that and I found a chandelier that I could do that with. So I did decorate this once it was up on the ceiling. So I would recommend for something more intricate, definitely decorate before you put it up. Um, but it is just so beautiful and it's so unique and I, I just love it. I think it's, it's so me and I just love these little butterflies. So yeah, Curious & Co, I mean, if you are in Washington and you love little things like this, definitely make your way over one weekend to Carnation because it's such an awesome store. I'm trying to get as many shots of it as I can, but I think that probably sums it up. Let's have one more look around the room, one more 360. I hope that you enjoyed my little home office tour. Be sure to hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you are the first to know when a new free photography tutorial for your business comes out. You can also find me over on Instagram at Jessica Whitaker. That's where I share daily tips, tools, and resources for your photography business on a daily basis. And soon I'm going to be rolling out even more home content. So if you like the way that I decorate, you're gonna wanna go check out my Instagram because there's more where this came from. Don't forget to get your free trial of Skillshare Premium using the link in my description box below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.